There is a song. Now look, I know for somebody tonight, this is going to be your all-time favorite song. And if this is your all-time favorite song, I want you to know that I didn't wake up in a bad mood today thinking, you know, how can I rip on their all-time favorite song and get them mad? I really don't do that kind of thing. And so if this is your all-time favorite song, I want you to know I still love you. And if this is your all-time favorite song, just get a new all-time favorite song. But it's an emotional song. And it's a weeping song. You can almost hear somebody singing just as they start to play the tune in the background. The tears well up in your eyes. People need the Lord. At the end of their broken dreams, he's the open door. You see, that's what we've come to in America. After I have made a mess out of my life, after Humpty Dumpty has fallen off the wall, and when all the king's horses and all the king's men and all the king's psychologists can't put him back together again, and after I have made a mess of my life, and after I have gone through divorce, and after I have reached the bottom, and after I have forsaken God, and after I have done my own thing and I have fouled it up, when I am at the bottom and I am looking up and I am hurting, that's when I'm going to come and turn it all over to Jesus, and he better fix it by noon tomorrow. You see, that's the thinking. We'll make a mess out of our life, and it's all about broken dreams and broken lives and hurting people. And, and now look, understand, somebody who's broken tonight, they get saved. Somebody who's hurting tonight can get saved. Somebody who's in the depths of sin can get saved. But I want you to understand that for somebody who knows the Lord tonight, we're not supposed to make a mess out of our lives and then turn it over. And we're not supposed to make a mess of our marriage and then turn it over. And we're not supposed to make a mess of our f- body and flesh. And then one day when it's broken dreams, and empty lives and hurting and sorrow, then we'll turn it over to him so he can fix it. That is not what reasonable Christians do. Reasonable Christians come to the Lord and before there's a messed up marriage, before there's a messed up life, before sin has destroyed their flesh, they come and say, Lord, I am presenting a body that is still holy. I am presenting a sacrifice that is still pure. I am presenting a sacrifice that is acceptable and pleasing unto you. And my friend, that is not what the great Christians do. That is not what the super Christians do. That's what reasonable.